You're watching. You're watching. You're watching. You're watching West Hartford. West Hartford Community Television. Community Television. Community Television. For the community. 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 By the community. By the community. By the community. By the community. For the community. By the community. And it's a wrap. So welcome back, everybody. Summertime is here. Hi, Mario. Mario. Cheers. I just want to dance away over here, but we got, <laughs> oh, that song's so good. That's a good summer song. That's so gonna be hot. everybody's that summer song. That is the summer song. It is. That What's is the, the name of that song? That's Justin Bieber and Luis Oh, Despacito. Despacito. Yeah. That's the hottest oh. song. Right I have to be Spanish. Colombian. Carol, can you say it right again, please? Despacito. Despacito. Maybe we should have Carol sing. <laughs> Carol, I know. Maybe we should. Well, welcome back to MTO, everybody. We have a great show in store tonight, and I just want to say. Happy summer. Yay. Happy, happy summer. summer. Cheers. 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 We should be Cheers. probably Cheers. drinking Cheers. like, you know, very white wine or, light or some fun we're transitioning. summer drink. Or an eggshell. We'll have like a fun, we'll bring a bartender on and have like another fun drink. I have the perfect bartender at Savoy for of us. Of course she does. All right. <laughs> of course she <you> does. <laughs> Mike, if you're watching, you're coming on the show. <laughs> So what do we have? So end of school craziness. We're into our final week of school. I don't know about your family. I know your families are crazy too. Yeah. Yes. I don't even. I don't even know what I'm even giving them for lunch. I'm like, whatever oh, I, you want to yeah. get. Yeah. Whatever. Just don't not go. And it's random. So yeah. sick random. of making Sorry lunches. Sorry about the randomness in your lunch boxes, guys. Right. But yeah. I'm so sick of making yeah. lunches. Oh, I am. And I'm I think we have something every night this week. Right. So end of summer craziness, and we have to mention Lori's not here tonight because she's doing something very special with her with son, son Michael, right, right. who's graduating. Yeah, he's getting a surprise um, yeah. shout out tonight at a, at a ceremony. Yeah, yeah. she's hoping it's scholarship money. Yeah, <laughs> so we're hoping too for yeah. you, Lori. Yes. Um, but yeah, it's it's crazy that it's already the end of school year. I know. It I feel like it. Right. I feel like in the last year at middle school for our. Oldest. Mm. Year for our oldest. oldest. Yeah, we are so going still have a little bit of middle school. Yeah. We're going to high school. Time. And our, but our babies scary. are going into middle know, school too. But at least my older one will be there with her. You yes, know. that's nice. Yeah, that's I'm nice gonna have to, have to take that first day of school off because I have middle school and high school. I think I'm just gonna have to take you're that traumatic. day off <laughs> and just sit home with a nice. No, you're gonna have to do your <laughs> annual muffins. I'm gonna read that you didn't do last year. Yeah, I'm totally redoing that again. So tell everybody, Adri, what it is because it's awesome. Yeah, so it's a tradition I started when the girls went to school. It was called muffin. It's called muffins and mimosas for moms to come and cry because they're so sad their kids are leaving <laughs> or be excited or cheers and tears both welcome and I literally started it when Gabriella went to kindergarten right. and I stopped it when I started working but um it's fun because the mom the population grew it was kind of mom's yeah. idea moms grew yeah this mom knows this mom and yeah. then like you had There's 75 lots of people, people in there. yeah and they don't want to leave either and I was like <laughs> I have to go pick up my oh my god I have to go pick up my little one from That's preschool <laughs> And so I'm just taking the day off. You come to my house. We're just going to have a lot of mimosas. I'll get a nice bartender. Remember the year I got a bartender? Yes. Yeah, she was yeah, very picky. Yes, I remember that. that Mario, well. you come too and DJ. Play music. Sure. We can actually I dance like with, you know, not well, being be, wired up. Sounds a lot yeah, of fun. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, we'll is. do that again. So, yeah. So we have a great show in line for us tonight I talking know. about summer. Talking about moms mm -hmm. and all the, the events and everything going on in, in mm -hmm. our communities. It's hard to keep track of all those things because we really do. All this summer, there's... A million things yes. to do, yes. and just in town. Not to mention all over oh, the community so. area. Hey, so. what are we here? <laughs> all right. Right. That was very quick, Mario. So, he was sneaking, sneaking in. in our favorite segment. Right. Okay. Yeah. All right. You're so off. this is our fairly new segment of our favorite things, and I'll start it today. Okay. Uh, let's remember see. I gave trophies out. That's right. Last it's time was okay. So this Wait, month, did you just swipe that like a phone? No. Oh, I just kind of fixed the little thing. I forgot thing. it was not a phone. It's so <laughs> this yeah. month, my favorite thing is by The Body Shop. It's Body and Leg Shine. And it is kind of like a stick. It's a stick. And it and just it's gives purple. you a It's brown. Oh. Like a brown. Oh, is it a bronzer? And it's not a bronzer, bronzer, but it kind of gives you a little bit of color and a little bit of oh. shimmer. Just Whoa. a tiny bit of shimmer. Is that why you're shimmering? That's the Let me smooth. Try. Oh, that's, yeah, that's not just the Colombian. That's the shimmer <laughs> that's in there. The right, I'm going to try one arm. 
I so, don't know. I'm Ivory And Snow especially Girl, on your so legs, sure. when you're oh, a little bit well, ashy or a little bit pale. Oh, that's a sparkle. There's no way you're trying to do this. Everyone's so early. And is it instant or it's is instant. it just takes a while? It's oh, instant. Okay. It's and instant. it has a nice it's scent. Color. I see sparkly. Right. Love it. It has a scent. It has a little bit of moisture and has a little bit of oh, shine to it. So it's really nice for summer. That's my favorite thing for this month. I am wearing shorts, but I'm not trying that out. No, please don't. Please don't. How did the summer look today? Like did you bring a favorite thing? Secret, secret. Mm. Yeah, Mara, did you bring a favorite thing? Yes, I did. Well, sure. it's not my favorite thing, but oh. okay. it's our our kids' favorite thing. Oh. That's, oh. that's not my favorite. That's oh. so sad. Oh. I had to bring it in. I had to, I had to kind of take spinner. away from my daughter. Those are everywhere. Yeah, yeah they're like the biggest thing. All now. the crates. I guess they're supposed to. Oh, my God. My girls bounce it on their head. Yeah, they, got, they do tricks. So I guess it's supposed yeah. to I guess, relieve stress from them. Yeah, and anxiety. Anxiety. Yeah. Develop it and fight. By now, it's banned from all the schools. I think it gives more stress to teachers now because of the disruption in class. Yeah, but I do too. I don't know. I don't get. I don't but it's get this better thing. than those little fidget cubes that they sell. Have you yeah. seen right. those? My daughter those has are that too. loud. They those make, make noise. noise. Yeah. They click. Those are, yeah. Right. yeah. These are much better. Yeah. They're a little bit quieter, but now they're coming out with LED. Oh, there all, kinds of, all kinds of stuff to distract. Yeah, it's a, it's we a, need to come out with an MTO. An, an easy spinner. invention <laughs> for... Like a wine spinner. Like she always put our name on everything. I do. I just want to sell yeah. MTO everything. It's, it's an easy well. invention for that's making millions. It is. Love it's it. brilliant. I know. Adri, what do you have? Yeah, so I have... So my favorite thing this month, oh, I love that and bag. my favorite thing every month, and Lori's too, because Lori's the same one, is I my know. bag. She copied you. So it's from Stella and Dot, my wonderful consultant Jillian. So pretty. Um, I think it was at my last Stella and Dot party that I got this when you guys came. Yes. Anyhow, it's my purse slash catch-all for everything. I love those. And, and you can I just like, like see it. Literally, right, right, right. like, you can see it. I don't you have to dig around. Put, right. look. It's good and bad that it's so big because I end up filling with everything. But, but I get great. so many compliments when it I carry this, and it matches everything. Love and it. it's so... Let me know if you want one, because I'll send my friend Julian over to you. I do want really one, cute. Yeah. so I can match you guys. Mario, don't you want one? Sure, I'll, so put, I'll, have, I'll put my uh, headphones and yeah. everything in there. I have, of course, Lily, Lily Pulitzer, my fave. But check this out. The armband is back, people. Oh. And you I, always have, like, the, you're, I like, know, on I all the hip it. trends. It's, well, I don't know about that, but this is all the craze. And so you wear it like with dresses and you put it up here. Where is that the craze? Not in my office. It is. Lily Pulitzer. Go on their website. All okay, the girls do you wearing wear that? You, don't wear, you wear that when you're going out. When you go out with a, very with a lily dress. It's adorable. Yep. It dresses it up. Very, it's very like cute. a snake. It's a little snake. I feel like it would just squish all my fat. That's how I feel too. <laughs> I'm not about like, the arm <laughs> bracelets. Okay. And but the it looks really pretty. I know. <laughs> Okay. And it's adjustable. It's adjustable. See, so we could wear it. It's totally And our nice new shimmering arm. Right. right. <laughs> and then before I leave you with the last Lori, I couldn't leave Lori out. God, yes. You know? Oh, her, about Lori? Her favorite thing, Lori, is oh. Bare Minerals Marvelous Moxie. And this one's called, oh my God, I need her glosses. Smooth Talker, <laughs> like her. Smooth right? Talker. Right? Like Lori. She loves this. So That's this pretty, is her pretty cool. Oh, that was thing. nice that you brought Lori. Yeah. Yes. She goes, I want it back. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> and bare minerals you can buy anywhere. Yeah, like that's she's such a, like a um, oh, Macy's, Blue Mercury, all the departments. Everywhere. All the department stores has it. Um, yeah. So they're all over the place. Well, that's fun. Awesome. Yeah. So we'll be back in a few minutes with two wonderful guests. We're going to continue our conversation about summer and some what fun things to do. What to do during the do. summer. Yeah. Keeping everybody Where to in take the family. The kids. Busy and moms. And where moms having can fun. Go. Exactly. Yeah. So cheers. We'll be right cheers. back. Cheers. Thanks, guys. So welcome back. We are excited to be here with two wonderful ladies. We're going to continue our discussion about summer. And we have Sarah with us and Angelina who are going to help us figure out the best places to be all summer. Keep us busy all summer long. Absolutely. That's right. And where to look. You yeah. To, to do that. Where to look, how to find it, and where to go. Right. All right. So I'm happy, so happy to introduce Sarah Calatea. Awesome. I, so <laughs> you got it. You got it perfectly. Um, she is the managing editor of Hula Frog West Hartford Farmington Valley, which connects parents to resources um, that they care most about, family-friendly events and businesses, and to other um, with other local parents. Um, provides local activities and events, guides, our picks to deliver um, in your inbox. In addition to Hula Frog, Sarah works as a digital content specialist for a local web design and social media management firm and is a freelance writer and blogger. You are busy. I, am the, I have a hard Slightly. time finding the time for all that, really. The so, blogging has been kind of falling off by the wayside. And you have two <laughs> boys. I do. And a husband. I Sarah do. and her husband Fred live locally and have two boys, Jack and Fred. Yes, I do. And that. a little dog, Snowflake. And a little dog, Snowflake. Yeah. So tell us. So, 
So welcome, welcome. Sarah. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. And maybe we'll introduce you. Angelina first, and then we okay. can yes. ask yes. those. Yes. Perfect. Good idea. And Angelina Capalbo is the chief publishing mama of Momford County. I love County. that title. I know. I do, too. Yeah. Um, the go-to resource for parents, especially mothers, looking for not-to-miss events and happenings in our Hartford County area, right? Um, whether you're looking for activities for your kids, options for parents' nights out, date night, uh, or something for the whole family, we can find it with, with you. Um, when you're not busy with your seven-year-old daughter, Sophia, who is here with us in the studio, <laughs> Angelina's in the process of launching a startup company called In the, no in the Mom Know, which aims to keep opt-out moms working while home. Mm -hmm. Right? Welcome. Yes. Awesome. So you guys Welcome are ladies. busy moms. Welcome. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you, Cheers. Thank you so for much. joining Cheers. us Cheers. tonight. Cheers. 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 Yeah, yeah so I just thought we'll dive right in. And so both of you are managing, first of all, you're working moms. How is that? I mean, how do you find, how are you balancing? You're a single mom. Mm -hmm. Why don't you enter that first? Because oh, we have two kind of different situations. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, you just find the time. You know, I happen to really love event scouting. It's something that I've always liked to do. My daughter and I love to get out and explore, and we love to support the local community. It's really a good, a, a really good feeling kind of give back that you can do. Why go to New York City to see amazing Broadway plays when you can go to Hartford mm -hmm. um, or West Hartford, play right, some sure, park? Right. So, you know, there's just so much here that's untapped. You know, it's so it's it's wonderful to be able to do that. I usually get most of my work done when she's sleeping, and I don't really need that much sleep. <laughs> so oh I'm up at five a.m. <laughs> and that's when I'm getting a lot of the stuff done. And you know, in the time that we live in, you can get a lot of stuff done on your mobile devices. So oh, yeah. it's all about finding the 10 or 15 minutes that you can spare in a day. Right? And we do have a lot. Yeah. I mean, West Hartford, we always say West yes. Hartford right. has so much to so offer. Much. I mean, clearly that's why we live here. Yes. Yeah. Right. I mean, from parents' night out to restaurants to museums, yes. I think you can always, but it's nice that we can have a place to go to, sure. like Momford County and Hula Frog. Right. So Hula Frog, what I love about Hula Frog, one thing, is all of your, um, you have these guides, right? You have hot lists. Hot lists, I mean, right, hot right. Lists. right. Talk yes, about hot yes, lists. Hula hot lists. So, um, so our site has Hula hot lists that our, um, our subscribers receive them Tuesday mornings. Um, and on our site, if you're a subscriber, that means that you're electing to receive those lists by email. Um, so those come out weekly, Tuesday mornings. The hot lists are kind of focused around themes that we think our, our audiences will like. So for example, um, this past week we had a hot list on nature camps and it was a collection oh. of nature camps in the area. Um, my area is West Hartford, Windsor, Windsor Locks, Bloomfield, Avon, Canton, Simsbury, Farmington, Granby, East Granby. So in any of those towns, if there's a nature camp that, you know, fits that age group of like zero it. to 12. So we don't have to look for it. We can just have it and have it right to you. The yeah. idea yeah. is that, you know, I put that together. Um, we had an art programs, art camps hot list that came out a couple weeks ago. We have um, a preschool camps hot list that's gonna come out next Tuesday. Um, one of our most popular ones was um, places where you and your kids can go and your kids can eat free or cheap in the oh, area. Yeah, That's yeah, like I an evergreen that. one That's that people great. love, yes, you know, because, yes. um, and I always kind of keep that one up to date as I find out That's about new great. places. That, um, so anything that we think our parents will just want curated for them, I mean, you can go and find that information for yourself, but it's a little That's more nice time to go search right for there. it. Right, so those are our hot lists. That's our hot list idea. So you do all the research for us. I do all the research, but like Angelina, I, you know, it's, it's, it's hunting and finding stuff online. It's right. talking to people. It's going into Facebook community groups where parents are talking about what they love or, or different dance don't. studios and that they love or places that they time. don't love. Right. Exactly. You kind of keep your ear to the ground and think, you know, what do parents seem like they're having a hard time putting together? Right. And then that's where I try to kind of jump in and, and formulate something that I think that they'll enjoy. And, and what's your like background? So? Um, my pre Being a mom. Yeah, <laughs> right. Well, there was a time that was before, before mom. That, exactly. um, that was, um, I was in healthcare quality management. Okay. Um, and I did that my whole career before kids. And then I had my son and I stopped working for a while and was home for a couple of years and then started to go a little stir crazy. Um, worked part time, um, still kind of doing some healthcare management stuff, but um, built a website for a woman I was working for in Old Saybrook, and I thought, oh, that's fun, I like the digital stuff. Mm -hmm. um, so that's when I first I first kind of got into a little bit of web design and online content development, and, and I just found one thing after another that 
landed me here. Yeah. That's, and what I loved great. about Angelina's, I'll mention for you for a second, is that unlike Hula Frog, or I don't know, maybe Hula Frog, you were focusing a little bit on the moms yes. and the parents. That's because I love her side. <laughs> right. I mean, but it's important to, yeah. I love Hula Frog and I go to it and I even printed out some of your guides. I mean, yeah. I love that you had like a farm, you had like your farms. Yeah. Yeah. Best farms to go to, which is great. Yeah, yeah. and farmers markets. And right. farmers yes. markets. Yeah. And, and, and all the Angelina yeah. has like, well, maybe mom you can talk things. about what yeah. you do. Yes. What I love her mom things. Site. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So we just holistically um, realize that most of our readers are are moms, but we're geared towards parents. But ninety seven percent of our readers are moms, so we tend to cater towards them. But we realize that they have holistic needs as women, as you know as someone that works full-time or part-time or as a um, primary caretaker of their children. And so they may have needs as a woman and you we know, have needs. their partner, yes, <laughs> and you know, <laughs> their partner or spouse or significant other, you know, they have needs independent of their children. Mm -hmm. A lot of, I think a lot of times when people become parents, it becomes everything that they About do the yes. and it consumes yes. them. Yeah, that's true. So it's nice to make time to do things and sometimes oh, so dinner just doesn't cut it. So mm -hmm. I do those one-up experiences where you could eat out for a good cause, support a local charity, go to a beer or wine dinner. Um, go see a you know comedy show or an adult arcade. We have one in um, Southampton. Oh, I didn't so. even know that existed. Yeah, I didn't <laughs> either. We I'm just happy. I know that now. now. Right. Yeah. Yeah. We awesome. Dave and Buster's, but this one is after six o'clock. Kids aren't allowed. Oh, so oh, I like that even better. That is fun. <laughs> Give it a little plug. We gotta go. Yeah. Yeah. I really not this time out. It it is. Is. Yes. Right with games. Right. And we say that's our ver for me. It's that's my version of the PTO. I don't belong to the parent teacher organization. I belong to parents' time out. <laughs> and that's where you're getting out yeah, and having that's fun nice. when grandma's in town or you have a sitter. It definitely it pays off big time, it's, even as being a better parent. It really is. It's all about balance. Yes. You know, yeah. your yeah. role as mom and your role as you know wife, yeah. yes. work, you know employee, worker, all of it. Right. Um, and you know your websites are so informational, um, and it's nice to have them all right in one place. Quick, yeah. We can just lie. The and idea go, oh, is that we save you places. time. Yeah, you yes. know, I mean, we the hope, the hopeful idea of it is that we save parents time. Yep. And you know so. what I love is that they're very entrepreneurial. I think that women, for a very long time, have not been as entrepreneurial mm -hmm. as men have been. So one of the reasons we wanted to have you on is because we want to showcase women who are out there making a difference in a unique way, mm -hmm. and right. you're catering because you know firsthand what moms need, mm -hmm. you know, and so, yeah, so anyhow, Thank it's you. just wonderful. Yeah. Thank you. We're That's excited. a fun way to look at it. I appreciate that. <laughs> yeah, no, of course. It's very, yeah. It's very appreciated. Now, do you have time for, do you have passions outside of? Do wine. you have, like, hot wine? <laughs> <laughs> my That's husband really is a wine freak, drink. so we oh, really do. Really? I mean, yeah, my, I have to say, my palate is not nearly as sophisticated as his, but I don't even know if we gave her good wine. She was so <laughs> interested in wine, so we actually we really enjoy that. Like oh, we nice. we have a lot of friends that you know we do wine tasting I think dinners, I want to be your and we <laughs> <No>. do, <laughs> or we go to like new wine bars, or we just you know we're always in search of. I mean, not expensive stuff. Like his his you know search is this eternal search for like a really great, well-constructed, delicious wine that's like, you know, no more than, you know, $15 a bottle because yep, right, they're right. out there. You yeah, know, there right. are some great wines for 15 bucks a bottle and that's just his constant, you know, I got to find it. I got to find my next one. <laughs> that's his. So I love that's, it. We enjoy that together. Yeah. That's great. And Angeline, I love that you take Sophia and you go on adventures and you look for fun things to do. Yeah. No, it's great. I mean, she's really the driving force of my site, you know, and... And really, I'm just really trying to be an advocate for women. You know, um, we live in a state where women earn 82 cents to a man's dollar at work. So, yeah, entrepreneurialism is definitely um, something that moms, you know, would want to consider. It allows them also the flexibility to be able to work from home and around the ever-changing needs of their kids. I mean, sometimes, let's face it, we feel like a taxi cab. Right, and it's so right? different when your child is seven versus when your sure. child is 14. Right. Yes. And when you have multiple. Yes. And as those yeah. stages change, it's nice to have the flexibility that you're talking yes. about. Yeah. I always yeah. say, oh, we slept. Well, yes. yes. What do you do? I schlep. It's a great word. I want to have a bumper sticker that just says, I just schlep. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Uber, Uber for my own home. <laughs> One day I think I was in the car for like six hours. Oh, yeah. I need an Uber for I don't doubt that. I know. I don't know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Right. Yeah. If you can Safe access. That's why there's liability issues. And it can be like mom that are distracting. I know. It's Brian. Other mom. Extra money. Right. Right? Yeah. Yeah. So what would be one suggestion that you might give to a mom who wants to, I don't know, do a startup oh. or kind of launch well, her own? I, I, one of the things that I think is such a barrier to women getting back in is, um, especially if you've been out of the workforce for a long time raising children home with your family. Mm -hmm. um, we, I did it myself. You know, as your children are small and you're doing everything for them, you know, you're, you're waiting on them hand and foot, you're dressing them, you're feeding them, you're making meals, you're cleaning up after them. Um, all of a sudden they get older and you, and you realize, a lot of this stuff they could be doing now. Right. Like, yeah. I, I, I you know, you this. wake up one day, it happened to me, where I woke up one day and I went, you know, I, I didn't ever want to be the maid and the <laughs> cook. Like, mm -hmm. this was not my yeah. goal, and here I sit, you know, was cleaning up. No, I know, right? You don't how want to be a short I, order chef? Yeah, <laughs> like, how did I get here? Yeah. And so I do think that for many moms, um, you know, when you decide to make that jump back into something, you have to be willing to say, the house is going to be a disaster. It's right. okay. Like, right. just you got to drop stuff and right. you got to push back on your family and yeah. have your family realize, you know, if mommy you wants to be happy too. and fulfilled, then as a family, too. we have to start shifting some responsibilities back I onto the it. rest of the family. And, you know, chores yep. need to be done. Um, you know, my son's 15. He can cook his own breakfast. He can yep. make eggs. He can right. pack right. his own lunch. Or pour can, cereal into a bowl. Yes, right? absolutely. But, you know, I do think that as caregivers, you, you kind of sometimes get caught in this in this trap of doing everything for them, and then you realize, oh my gosh, what am I doing? Like, and what really, have I created? Right, and that's not helping anybody. That's not helping exactly. the kids later on. Right, they're not as independent. You know, they need to build that resilience and that that self confidence, self and you know, self sufficiency. Self absolutely. So I do think that some moms, that's a psychological barrier that you know, oh, we my want house to do is going to be a mess. Right. My ha let it be a mess. <laughs> It'll get figured out. And I'm always like, before I leave the house in the morning. Oh my God! I have to clean the entire kitchen, and I have yes. to win. I have to just clean it because God forbid if something happens to me and people come in my house and, come in and they house. see that I have dishes in the drainer, they'll go, "Oh my God!" And my husband doesn't. I mean, nobody else in my family thinks no. this way, but I think this yes. way. Well, right. I think a lot of us do, and I think you have to be comfortable with your saying, "You know what? Just let, let that go. go. Let that go." And that's hard, but. Um, a shift happens. Yep. You know, it's like if you think that they're going to make that room for you, it's never going to happen. Right. It'll never happen. So you, you just, just gotta, push it on them. you know. I remember like my husband kind of looked around the kitchen once I started stepping back into work, and he's like, "Oh my gosh, it looks like a train came through this place." <laughs> and I said, "Guess what? There's a vacuum cleaner right there. You, you know, know where everything like, goes. Yeah, yeah you, so. you know. Let me show you where it is. <laughs> you know how to take care of it. Yeah. So have at it. Yeah. <laughs> so I have a question for Angelina. In the mom, no. Mm -hmm. What is that all about? So it's a startup company that I haven't launched yet. So um, Monford County is my work in prototype, and my pilot state for my startup is in Connecticut. So I'm basically hoping the other seven counties of Connecticut can really um, mimic what I'm doing here in Harford County. And so that gives the potential of seven other moms to also kind of do what I'm doing in their community. Um, because it is, it's challenging for one person to do it all. But, you know, one of the things you talked about before is, you know, before you go back to work, right? When you go back to work, I think it's important to find something that you find fulfilling enough in the work that you do at home. Because right. Right. there is really no price that you can put on, you know, especially raising your kids from zero to five. That's when their personality develops. That's when, you know, most of the imprint that is going to be instilled in them really happens. Right. And so, you know, it's and it's so important that that happens. And obviously your children are then of age enough to speak for themselves, right. to know and what's right speak. or wrong, right? Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> so yeah, it's um <laughs> it's nice to find something that you, you know, are passionate about. So your goal is to get other moms to be able to do this. Correct. Going out. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I, love that. I did that. I did I used to call it a pause for parenthood where I yes. quit my career, stayed like home with my term. little ones. Yeah. But I knew once they hit like five and they could talk and they could be a little more self sufficient and go to school, I had to go back into the full time workforce. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, like you, Sarah, I worked part time, a little here and there. But I know a lot of moms struggle with that and I struggled with it that part where you have to find a career yeah. and get back out there but yeah. still be with your family. Yeah. So yeah. it's 
kind of a hard balance. Yeah, the flexibility is important, and that's one of the things that I promote on my website is we we love to promote moms who flex, jobs who flex, and recruiters who hire flexible arrangements. You know, that's really important because companies aren't able to necessarily hire as quickly, but if they want to hire 40% of a mom, right. so they work four hours a day right. Right. and don't have to offer them benefits because their partner earns and they right. don't need that, and a lot of times you don't get to get paid for not taking the benefit. Right. So right. it's a it's a win-win situation where you're able to hire but not fully hire that employee and you're also able to tap in and support a local mom, a local family, you know, and so that's, you know, it's a positive thing. It's a win-win for everyone, Absolutely. which is great. Angelina, did I see something that you hosted monthly gatherings yes. for entrepreneurs yes. and similar-minded persons? Can you tell us about that a little bit? Yeah, so, um, you know, I think, you know, I'm sure, Sarah, you can share the same sentiment. Sometimes the work that we do as an entrepreneur is very lonely. Yeah. Right? You're, sure. you're yep. a solopreneur. I yep. made that In word your up. In kitchen. Right? <laughs> and yeah. so right. it's no, nice. Your mom it is. Yeah. Yeah. And it's nice sure. to meet other people kind yep. of going through the same experiences. And a lot of um, social um, entrepreneurs, you know, don't necessarily get the same immediate or, in general, uh, benefits of like local chamber networking and things like that. It works better for the brick and mortar, for the larger corporations and companies. But when you're trying to do something that really is an, is an unmet need in the market, people don't really understand it. Right. It's difficult yeah, to great find the camaraderie. Yeah. So yeah, I created Startup Parford about 15 months ago, and it's uh, just a networking event, nice industry support. night. It is. Sorts, it's great. Yeah. You know, for startups. So, you that know, we, great. Great. we don't want to limit it. And it's also great. We've learned so much through the startup journey through people that have been there. Okay, we're getting the wrap up. Right. So we no, will have, on. so really right, quickly, all the information. what is your website? Oh, oh, MomfordCounty.com. And mine's HulaFrog.com. And we so have a little gift advice. for both oh, of you. Yeah. Oh, Thank you. Oh, unnecessary. <laughs> I don't know. I'm afraid to give you wine now. Because <laughs> don't show your husband. No, I told you. Taste it. This will be mine. <laughs> I don't <laughs> have this. Thank, Thank you, Thank you so much for coming so on. Thank you so lovely for having us. Yeah. I really yeah. appreciate your time. Cheers. So excited. Cheers. Very excited for both of you. Wonderful. So fun. So that was great. Yeah, Again, two very more informative. Wonderful, yes, wonderful women. I don't know how they do it all. Though. I don't either. I'm just my mind. Like, I feel like every month we we have these amazing women come yeah. on and we're like, oh my god, they're so entrepreneurial. They're so really cool smart. ideas. Smart. Yeah. I feel like I have cool ideas, so but I just don't know where to. But they've actually employ them. them. Right. Exactly. Mm -hmm. they've, they've I need someone to ideas, say, put it here. Put yeah. And they're there. making life easier for us. So yes. we love having Angelina and Sarah on and. On our Facebook page, we will share their websites yes, and share some absolutely. of their lists and some of the things that they have going on. So that will be great. What a great resource for moms. You know, really I wish is. I had this back in my day, honestly. I know. Well, like when my kids were little, too, I didn't know all of these things. No, I, know. Yeah. I don't know if they did. We just had like a play group yeah. and a mom's group, right. and that was it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And then we had yeah. to go out and find here and find there and look everywhere to see what we were doing and things going on. Mm -hmm. Those ladies were great. They were. They were wonderful. So what else do we have happened? Lots of stuff so in June. June. MTO, stuff in June. well, so MTO appearances went really well last month. Yes. yes. Cammie was our representative at a lot of for Facebook All of them. Cammie was everywhere. I was everywhere. Shocking. Where's yes, Cammie Cammy today? Oh, <laughs> she ran from here to there. Okay. So we did. But you um, do it so effortlessly, Cam. Okay, yeah. Mm. <laughs> No, it's fun. No, absolutely. We I love, love it. doing it. Do you know what? And you know what? A couple women I have to say this past month, a couple of different places I've been at, and I'll, I'll be doing news press and all sorts of stuff soon, too, right, for other things. For your Ladies have come up to me and said, I know you. And it's not just a big Y, right? Mom's time out. <laughs> right. And I'm like, oh my God, <laughs> somebody <laughs> recognizes me. <laughs> I was so excited. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, so we have some exciting. MTL appearances coming yes. up this month. We're we really do. excited about mm -hmm. it. June, June 17th? 3rd. No, June Let's 3rd. The first. Right, June 3rd, Blaze and Bloom is having a Bloom 2017. So we love the Bloom ladies. We love the Big Bloom sales. ladies. They've got awesome stuff. Oh, yep. It's fun there. Yep. yep. June, I'm a happy place. Awesome June stuff. June 10th, Relay for Life of West Hartford. It's for the American All about Cancer Society. Cam, be on her team. I am one of their distinguished heroes in purple, so I promote all of the stuff in town for them. My June girl. 10th, Northwest Catholic. Go there. Lots of stuff for the kids to do. 
awesome event. And it's all day, all night, like literally into the night. You sleep there. Oh yeah, all night. Yeah. We're Amazing. not sleeping. You don't have to sleep there. We're going to come and visit. Bands, there's music, there's we're food, there's right. tons of fun stuff. So. And then June 17th, we're having the an eighth annual Hartford Rib Off. Well, we're not um, having it. We're going to go. Guy Newman is having it. He Two is amazing. Rose Brewery is yep. sponsoring it, and 100% of the proceeds go to local charities. So, huge if you event. love ribs, it's a great event. It's at Brainerd Delicious Road. Stuff. It's on Brainerd Airport. Road somewhere. Brainerd Road Airport. Well, well, Airport we'll put it all on our Facebook yes. page, yes. and we are going to have a Mom's Time Out, our first annual school wrap up event just June for 19th. moms. June 19th, Last day of school. I will post where we're going to put it. It's going to be a nominal fee. We'll hopefully have a pool and drinks with umbrellas. And come and hang out with us. Yes. And a door prize. And come hang out with us. at the last day of school. Yeah. So, so, awesome show. Don't forget. Oh, Mario! Oh, do you have something in June real quick? Uh, my yes, Portugal Day Parade. I'm, on, I'm in a float June 11th. You're on a float? Yeah, I do my awesome. own float. What? Awesome. We should be on the float with you. <laughs> yeah, you guys should be on there. All right. Oh with our we're water glasses. Now we're on a float. All right. Cheers. Cheers. Don't, don't forget. forget. You, you, you put, put the, the time, time in. in. Don't, don't forget, forget to take the time, time out. out. Cheers. Oh, cheers, man. What's the place where you go every night and you snuggle up real tight? Is it in front of your screen where everything we show is exactly how it seems? Everything we show is right for you. Everything we show is true, true, true. So get your drink and give us a wink. Cause what you're watching is mom's time out.